Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Soul. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we had left off, I decided to grind up a little bit before going into the next level, and I have actually gotten a little bit lucky. Uh, I actually managed to get the Captain Gully card, as well as a Kabold card. So why don't we go ahead and deposit those over into the Encyclopedia Guys thing, Maducher, which I believe was right over here. I think. Is this the armor? Nah. Sleepy guy. Anyways, we got the keys, so we don't need to go back through that place again. Where? I'm trying to remember where it is, and I'm failing on all accounts. But no, um... We had managed to find the keys, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm just trying to think what else. Oh, I've gotten two pieces of Oracalcum now, so that's awesome. No, you're just that one. I am terrible at navigating things, so yeah. Uh, I've gotten a new hat. It is a hat. It has actually increased my resistances by 10 apiece. And this needle ring, which straight up increases my strength. And a piece of candy. But I think the piece of candy is just a little less important at the moment. Where the frick is this guy? I'm not remembering right. Because I could have sworn it was up here, but apparently it's not. I could have sworn it was in there. Yeah, what the frick? Was he outside? And by outside, I totally mean in the tavern? That doesn't seem right. No, that's right, he was this way. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, way to waste time, Dadar. Oh, oh, there was a whole cutscene thing going on. So yeah, now we can look at each individual monster's stats this time. Which is neat. So now, uh, paste, colds. Yeah, human-sized monsters devastates villages. Speed 160? The frick? Interesting stat. Now, where the hell is... Ah, here he is. Goblin leader desperately in search of the key, which we've already found. We killed him like twice. Okay, I'm kind of surprised that we had actually gotten that off of him. I didn't know that the bosses would drop them. Eh. Anyways, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so, now we have the giant's graveyard. Spooky. Should have done this during Halloween. Didn't know it was going to be that spooky. So, uh, before people ask, no, there was not another red shoe when I had gone back through uh, the Goblin Fort. That was just the one time, and I could only do it the one time. Which makes a little bit of sense. Oh, I forgot to look up uh, whether or not the blue shoe was like a trading item or something. I can't break these gravestones. Makes sense. Skeletons! I kind of look... No. Uh, you know, um, kind of want to say, I honestly prefer actively like not doing the whole dodging to attack thing with the charging from last game. I think that was definitely something that did not help the monotony from last time. And the music is significantly better so far. It actually sounds like music. Okay. Skeletons! Eh. Did I forget to put anything away? I mean, I forgot to put away the candy and the gold. But I don't think that's going to affect us that much. Eh. Oh, that's a poison mummy. Huh. Neat. And that was a critical hit. Ooh. Ooh, I want in there. Wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I gotta be careful of the secrets if you want any of the good stuff, like... Mithril! Fantastic! Awesome! 
So that means that whenever we get back this time around, we can actually go forth and try the whole fusion thing, which I am totally going to spam the ever-loving crap out of in order to <laughs> in order to get myself the good gear. I did not... Oh, well, he level up. I did not realize that the... That the secret ingredients stuff for the fusion was actually not that rare in this game. I mean, it's still rare, but it's not stupid rare. To the point where it's like, eh, you might get it in the one playthrough. Cotton gloves. Eh. Boom. Eh. Yeah, I kind of like how... I honestly do like how the... Special attacks now require you to use the SP bar. For one, it actually gives it a use. Is that a fiery skeleton? Eh. For one, it actually gives the SP bar a use for characters that didn't have it before. And for two, it actually gives you a little bit more strategy besides just, oh, I'm gonna spin around in a circle and dodge their attacks for like a few billion years while I keep on missing. Honestly, it was also the missing that kept on just irritating me. Like, I had spent this time charging up this attack. There should be an increased chance to hit the thing that I'm hitting. Or trying to hit. But nope. Miss. At least this time, it feels like I'm actually... It... I don't know how to word it. I... Maybe it's because I was just using pretty much it solely. Ah, good. Mm. Really need to keep on using that time that it stun that they get stunned in order to go in and stab them. But anyways, yeah, it, I don't know. It just felt like using that axe in that fashion was the only way to do things. Maybe if I had used the sword, I would probably feel the same way. Maybe. And really, it just seems like, more like it's a faster way to clear things as opposed to, oh, you pretty much need to use the charge attack in order to do a damn lick of difference. And I want this box. I also want wherever, or whatever, this little secret has. And, oh. I was kind of honestly hoping for Mithril. Also, it definitely appears that there's... Oh, that's a red arrow. That human soul is hidden under a gravestone? Sheesh, why did we accept such a difficult job? We really strong. Not so smart. Lift gravestone only we can do. Huh? Well, that's true, but... Uh, let's finish this shot fast and get out of here. So they are looking for a gravestone. This is it! No one's looking, right? This thing sure looks heavy. Let's give it a try. Hey, don't be so loud. Ready? Lift! Yeah, we did it! Quit making so much noise. Come on, let's put this back. Yeah, we did it. We lifted. I told you to be quiet. Hey, mark this stone. Soul slips her. Is this good? Not bad. Okay, we're done here. As they completely continue to stand there. Haha! -ha. Oh, okay, so I... Oh, mummy card. Nice. So I think if we were another character, we could continue. Uh, we could push the gravestone. But I think I have to time it so as we have to, we get to him as it hi he is uncovered. Ah, oh, dang. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay. Oh, well. Eh. Eh. Damn it. Maybe I'll try to show that off when 
I go through again. Don't know why I couldn't just smash it like I do other gravestones, but this gravestone just seems to be leveling. Leaving to the next level, rather. Oh man, is this where things get more... Uh, what's the word? Maze-like? Mmm, a little bit? Whoa! You are big? I don't want you as a friend. Maybe I can stunlock him. Ooh. He was big. I f found a key. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is a key that I needed to find. Uh, I've only got one more herb. I'm going to need to head back really quickly in a little bit. Oh, an iron bow. And... Stop trying to stop me with your flying arrows. Okay, I see. Aha! Oh, jeez. I see. Those guys are big and intimidating like, but they're not that much of a threat. That much of a threat. Uh, that said, I may... Oh, there's just two of those. Okay. Before I go into the next chamber, I may actually want to not uh, head back to town so that I can not heal up, but I mean, yeah, heal up, but more. Ow! Ooh, that was close. Javelin. Yeah, head back to town. Because I need a little bit of healing and I need more healing items. So, you. So, I can sell that. I uh, can't use the keep. Freaking mithril, man. Uh, we'll just get five herbs for the now. Suppose I might as well do the... Ooh. Sadly, none of this stuff is stuff I want to use. So for 50 gold, Gloves of the Moon, for 130, ooh, Spear of Skill, oh, okay, Javelin of Resistance, yay, and another one, Spear plus, oh that's a Light Spear too, Curses, <laughs> uh, almost makes me wish I could use it. But hey, at the least this time around, it does seem like uh, it would significantly benefit me in the whole... Oh, shields, okay. Yeah, nah. It would benefit me as a whole if I were to actually do the thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Essentially, the items are actually worth uh, doing it all the time-ish. I don't know if that's completely true, but hey. We'll put away the mummy card and put away the mithril. And I'm probably definitely going to come back for that mithril and the oracalcum in order to make some pretty fa fine gear. That's uh, definitely need to rest. Still, three goblin cards. I probably should grind out for the goblin cards for that poison mummy card. Or I could just grind out for the poison mummy card from on the poison mummies. At the least, I know that I should uh, come back later. Shall I take you back? Yeah, take me back. Boom. Ugh. Someone spilled their tomato soup and are wasting it. That's a shame. If I had some rags, maybe I'd pick it up. Oh, man. That's a lot more zombos. Zombos? Skellies. Why did I say zombies? No. Whoa. Come on. Take my sword. Hey, level up. Awesome. You guys do not hear the barking. What are you insane? There's no barking going on out downstairs. Ha! Okay. Oh crap! <laughs> I was trying to move past him. Uh, balls. Okay. 
more cow. Dude. How rare is this shit supposed to be? Because I'm literally finding it like every other stage or something. Love it. Alright, heal up. Maybe I should get the the item efficiency as well. Oh. Did I find that gravestone yet or not? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Come on. Stop running away. That's a lot of bats. Okay, I'm running away. We run away to fight another day. Come on. Come on. No. Stop living. In a manner of speaking. Okay. Come on. Stay dead. In the ground. Oh boy. Yeah, boy. That's a lot of archers. That's still more archers. Oh, hey, bidet. Beret. Beret. <laughs> oh, good lord. I should not do this while I'm flustered. Oh, wait. Is that gonna be a boss one? Can I not get to this one? Huh. Maybe it has. Wait. Right. Damn it. Come on. Go through. I don't want what's on there. Anyways, so really quickly, I did level. <laughs> don't think I've forgotten that I leveled. I know that I leveled. I didn't need to bring the prison key here, did I? I really didn't. Uh, let's do fight. Whoa. How many points do I get? Eight? Alright. That works for me. Oh, and I got two more skill points. Oh, they really made it so as you could be a badass this time around. All right. Uh, hmm. Uh, uh. Let's go with the. I did say that I needed to get more efficiency, so let's go with efficiency and sword. So now, instead of 20 points, that heals like 32. Huh. Alright, I'm good with that. Hey, it's the adventurer! Hey guy. You're you're dead. Um Are are you following me to your body? Is there something I can do for you? Guy? Uh... I mean... Can I, can I use this? Oh, wait! Wait, what? I don't know what that, do, what that I was doing. That's right, though. Um... B... To throw... No. Missed. B to throw. B to throw. That is still missing. Oh, wait. Can I use it with herbs? B to throw. No. Maybe I need to use the soul jar now that I think about it. I don't have a soul jar. But I could afford one. Never mind. I thought I could grab a soul jar to get... Okay. So that's two things I have to do when I get back here. Hello? Oh. No. Bad bats. Nowhere near as bad as bad rats, but bad bats. Oh. Eh. Oh, new shield! Sweet! It's a small shield, but, you know, if it's better than my wooden shield... It is, by like four points. Hell yeah. And this beret doesn't provide resistances, but it does provide an increased defense. I'm, I'm going to stick with my current one, simply because resistances are nice. That's a lot of mummos. Ow. That's a punching mummy. So I got the mum... Eh. God damn. So I got 
except the one dude I need to resave, apparently. Maybe how many times I wonder how he's he's going to need to be saved in this game. I think this change of music means that the boss is coming up. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm too paranoid. I'm uh, definitely going to <laughs> return to get some more healing items. It's a legitimate strategy. Also, I'll just sell my old shield. Uh, nah. Yes, I am totally buying out the entire stock if I need to. Alright. That's better. I'm a little less worried. Only a little. Not very. So let's head on up. Oh. Who's there? I am the Grove Giant, the Keeper of the Cemetery. You disturbed my sleep. As long as I live, you shall never reach Mistress Rosari's palace. By the way, those uh, those little bits where they're talking, yeah, you can't skip those. Ow. Ow. You know what? Let's, uh, oh, I was trying to use the healing drop instead. There we go. Now that's one less item in my inventory. Come on. Ow. Alright. So, kind of a balls thing is that you still do have to recharge your uh, charge attack. Duh. Oh, crap. When you get hit when you're charging. But saving grace is that you do not use up your SP when you have been hit. That's actually a pretty good swipe. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. I was not strong enough. You shall not reach mistress. Bazaar's powers. Yeah! I didn't level up that time, though. And cotton gloves. That's fantastic. What? You made it through the graveyard? Well done. You must punish that witch for abducting my daughter. Bazaar lives in a maze-like palace. She has many monsters serving her. It is said that she has rats larger than humans. My dear Camille, please be safe. Darius, please rescue her and make sure that witch will think twice before doing something like this again. Good luck. I'm gonna need it. Last time I remember fighting off against the spellcaster type in this game. Well, not this game. The series. Did not go too well. So, lightning resistance reduces my defense significantly, so no. Uh, I guess I'll also sell that beret, depending. Yeah, the beret goes bye-bye. Alright, so now I have three pieces of orichalcum and a freaking piece of piece of mithril. Um, you know what? Why not? Let's do a little bit of mixing. Let's see. You are the guy I need to talk to, right? Yes, you are. All right. Give me a second. All right. So from what I'm reading right here, uh, I am on tartarus.rpgclassics.com, and they are like a shrine for all things random video games from Breath of Fire to Shining Soul 1 and 2. And from what it looks like, a lot of the materials is based directly upon what it is that you need. So... Mithril stuff seems to do more stuff that's based around ice weapons and ice body shields, armor, and whatnot. But it's all dependent on how you place it on the board. 
right over here. Like if you put two, uh, two orichalcum here and here, and then one here for misrule, that counts as a she uh, body or shield armor. Whereas if you put two orichalcum here and here, and then put a mithril here, that's a head and gloves. But you switch it around. You put the orichalcum here, mithril, or I know what I'm trying to say. Pretty much orichalcum on either side with mithril in the middle. That's a weapon. And it works the same way. If you want bolt weapons, you put the orichalcum here, mithril on the sides, so on and so forth. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to try to go for an ice weapon. And again, I am going to save scum this because I want something I'm actually going to use. Hopefully, the best thing I would be able to find would be an ice blade three. There's one, two, and three, so... How much do you want to pay? Oh, uh, this part I didn't get into about, so give me a second. Uh... I honestly have no clue what the hell he's on about. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Let's just try this in general. How much do I want to pay? I don't know. Freaking... 500? Is that too low? Is that too high? I don't know. No, let's go 600. It's because I'm lazy. What was with that sound? If I go 1,000, is it? It's still wah 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 when I make that sound. How about? All right, let's just try for freaking 600 then. 600, and that makes a Francesca of Heroes three. What? Okay, so first off, that is awesome. Problem is, I just can't use it. Oh, okay. Okay, so the formula for each different material is... Okay, this is weird. So pretty much to get a grade we 1 weapon, you need 100 to nearly 300 points. To get a grade 2, 300 to 500 points, and then grade 3 is 500 and beyond. But each of the grades, okay, the grades of each of the things is dependent on their price. Mithril is divided by 10, so this would be roughly a grade 28, or calcum by 25. Dark matter, which is one of the other materials, by 20. And bone has its own just base price of sell price, and scale by 2. Well, that's saddening. <laughs> so you need really, really expensive chunks of ore calcum and dark matter to make the better armors and weapons and shite. <sighs> so, I guess that clears that up. I would still have liked a frost weapon of some sort. So, give me a moment. Still spamming. I still want to know where the hell the whole money system comes in there. Oh! Attack speed plus... Well, okay, that works. That works just fine for me. <laughs> Here I was, kind of reserved to the idea of, okay, I'm going to have to do this for all eternity now. Okay. For now, though, let's put away the rest of the Oracalcum scales and whatnot. And I suppose I should quickly attempt the idea of uh, of getting the rest of getting that. That's a Molotov cocktail. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to save that guy's soul and all that fun stuff. So give me a hot second and I'll do just that. Okay, so I just have to move as soon as we see the item. There we go. Now we kill him. Get the zombos. Oh, not even. Boken soul. Heh, 
figured that's what it was. All right, so I'm gonna go continuing on until I can, I guess, save Boken. And yes, uh, I probably still not counting this as a second time through sort of thing as much as probably should. I don't want to over over level, but at the same time, I don't want to, you know, just kind of eh, get decimated. Besides that, there's others. Oh, skeleton cards. Nice. Besides that, there's still the fairly good chance I might die. So, one second while I get back to Bulkin. I still don't know how to get into that one walled off gravestone, but I want it. Okay. So, we got Bulkin Soul. I suppose we should help him with it. By literally throwing his soul at him. Um. How do I use his soul? I Boken Alright, do I have to throw his soul oh, okay there we go. Thanks, you saved me. Ah, you're Darius. Do you remember me? I'm Boken. I came to this graveyard and served a treasure. But I never thought I'd end up like this these poor stiffs. I'll be more careful from now on. Well, I'll be heading back to Clantole Castle. Thanks again for saving me. Yeah, you do that, buddy. You you do that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. So when we return, guys, uh, on to the next part, which uh, may not be as hard as I thought it was, depending on if I decide to do this a third time. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.